All right, next up here, we're gonna move on um, to a new technique for solving these. It's called the quadratic formula. Um, and so the quadratic formula, first step is to be to get one side to zero. Um, and so we gotta move everything to one side. Once again, I, I usually kind of move everything to the left. And then the formula here is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Um, so that, that's the formula there. Um, and so you'll have it on your notes. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and just use it here, okay? So first of all, we'll do number eight. So like I said, we're gonna move everything to one side. So I'm gonna subtract the 10n and the one um, over to this side. I wanna put it in order. So I'm gonna have my squared one first and then my regular variable and then my number. Um, so we have our a value here as nine. Our b is negative 10 and our c is negative one. So we're just gonna go ahead and follow the formula then. <coughs> so we're gonna say, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, I should have put here that this equals zero, just to emphasize we have that one side to zero. Um, so we're gonna do x equals negative b. Now in this case, b is negative 10, as you can see. So the negative negative 10 is actually positive 10. So when we have that negative b out front, um, I always just think of that as opposite b, okay? Um, so then in the radical here, uh, we have negative 10 in parentheses squared minus four times a, which is nine, times c, which is negative one, and then that's all over two times a, which is again nine. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and simplify this. Um, I usually just simplify inside of the radical first. Um, so inside the radical there, I'm just gonna kind of take this and, and do it up here. So negative 10 squared is 100. Um, and it's a positive 100, because it says anytime you square a positive or a negative number, it comes out to a positive. And then that's is my son, Miles, is gonna join in here and talk at his contribution. All right, so now we got a negative four times nine is negative 36 times one, or sorry, times negative one is actually positive 36. Um, so then all of this is gonna become 10 plus or minus the square root of 136 all over, and I'll go ahead and do the two times nine as, as 18. Okay, next thing we always want to do is simplify the radical here, the, the radical 136. So we're gonna break that down with a factor tree here. Now, um, it's a pretty big number, but I know it's even, so any even number we know we can divide by two. Um, so let's divide that by two and see what we get here. And that's going to be 68. Um, and then 68 is actually even again, so I can divide it by 2 again, which would give me 34. And that's actually still even, so I can do 2 now and 17. Uh, all right, you can't break down 17 anymore, so i got to look for twins. So it looks like I have twin 2s here, and then I have a loner 2 and a loner 17. Uh, so then remember, whenever we have twins, we did this kind of earlier in the year, um, they combine as they go outside of the radical. And then all the loners are going to stay in the house. Now we have two loners here. They're going to multiply back together. So 2 times 17 is going to go back and make 34. And then that's all over 18. All right, last step on these ones um, is to reduce this. Now we're only allowed to reduce this in one way. If all three of these numbers, so the number in front, the, <laughs> hi Miles. The number in front of the radical and the number on bottom. If they can all divide by the same number, you can do that. Sometimes they can, sometimes they cannot. That's fine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and divide those all by two. So I'll say five plus or minus. Um, and then technically that's one times the radical of 34 because um, two divided by two is one. I'm not going to put the one though. It's not necessary in that spot. Um, and then that's going to be all over nine. If you did put the one there, that'd be fine, but if it was a multiple choice, it's not gonna be there. All right, so let me clear my board here, and then we'll go ahead and do number nine. All right, so next up, number nine. First of all, we need to get everything to one side, so I'm gonna subtract the 6v over here. So we got 8v squared minus 6v plus two equals zero. 
All right, so now we know our A is gonna be eight, our B is negative six, and our C is two. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my uh, quadratic formula now. Um, quick, if some of you are thinking, why aren't we factoring this? If you even, if you actually tried this, um, and we did A times C up top, and that would be 16, and then B is negative six, and we try to think of two numbers that multiply to make 16 and add to make negative six, there's actually no two numbers that work. Um, if, and if you're thinking about eight and negative two, that I can't make the, uh, the positives and negatives work correctly to multiply to 16 and add to negative six, because even if I did negative eight and positive two, it wouldn't work because negative eight times two is actually negative 16. So there, there's no combination of numbers that work, and so this is out, and so that's why we have to use quadratic formula. Um, that's kind of why they came up with this, is to use when factoring does not work. Okay, so let's do it then. So we get x equals negative b, so that's actually going to be positive 6. Remember, again, uh, we have another negative b value, so we're going to switch it. Um, so this is going to be positive 6 uh, plus or minus the square root of negative 6 um, squared minus 4 times uh, 8 times 2, and then all over 2 times 8. Um, and so we get 6 plus or minus the square root of 36, um, <clears throat> let's see, minus 4 times 8 is 32, times 2 is 64, all over 16. All right, 36 minus 64, that's going to be a negative number, because the, the negative number is bigger, but what is it? Um, I don't have my calculator handy, so it's going to be negative 28. Okay, so we get x equals 6 plus or minus. Actually, let me do this in a new color now. Let's just show that next step. So 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 28 all over 16. Now, in this case, we have a negative inside of the radical. And anytime this happened happens, uh, we're going to take an i out front. We did this earlier in the year. So whenever you see that negative inside the radical, your very next step should be um, is to take an i in front of the radical and then turn that negative into a positive. Okay, so now we're going to deal with it as a radical 28 with an i out front. So if we're doing the radical 28, I'm going to break that down. I'll go ahead and do it this way. Um, I, I, I know I did it kind of off to the right last time. It doesn't really matter. So it looks like I have twin twos. They're going to go outside, and then a loner seven is going to stay inside. Um, so that's going to be uh, x equals 6 plus or minus. And then, so I'm going to put the 2 in front of the i there. So we'll call it 2i, and then radical 7. So remember, the twins, when they go outside, they kind of combine, and then the loner stays on, inside the house. OK, and then the last step is the same as it was before. So we're going to reduce all three of these numbers. Looks like it can divide by 2 again. So this is just going to become i rad 7 over 8, and then the 3 out front. Once again, that's really kind of saying 1i rad 7 all over 8, uh, but, but we don't need to put the 1 there. All right. All right, next up here, number 10. So this one, once again, I'm going to get one side to 0, so I'm going to go ahead and add the 6 over. So we get 2a squared minus 5a plus 6. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and use the quadratic formula now. Um, so we know a is 1. No, it's not. A is 2, um, B is negative 5, and C is 6. Okay, so we'll say X equals, and once again, we have a, a negative B here. Shoot, we're going to have all negative Bs here. So if B was positive, I would make it negative, but since it's negative, I make it positive right there. Plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2 times A. All right, inside the radical is going to be, um, let's see, 25 minus uh, 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 6 is 48. All right, and so that'll be x equals 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 23 all over 4. Um, <coughs> all right, I once again have a negative inside of a radical here. Um, so we have 5 plus or minus i radical 23 all over 4. Now, 23 actually does not break down. It's a prime number. So I can't reduce anything there. And so I, I'm not going to be able to reduce anything uh, on, my, on that last step. And you know what? That's OK. That just means that 
good news. I'm done. This is my answer. All right, last up here then, number 11. Let me clear it off, clear off the last one. All right, so I'm going to move the 7p over to this side. We've got to get one side to 0 first. I get 5p squared minus 7p minus 1 equals 0. Um, all right, so we have our a value is 5. Our c value is negative 7. Oh, wait, no, that's our b value. Our c value is negative 1. All right, so um, we're going to say x equals negative b. So once again, I'm going to put the positive 7. Uh, plus or minus square root of b squared. So, oops, it's going to be neg it's going to be a negative seven squared minus four times five times negative one, all over two times five. All right. Um, so now I'll do the inside of the radical there. Um, so that's going to be forty nine, uh, and then negative four times five is negative twenty times negative one is actually plus twenty. Um, so we get x equals seven plus or minus the square root of 69 all over 10. Um, and then does 69 break down? I think it does. It divides by 3. So 3 and 23. But 23 doesn't break down. So um, there's no twins there then. And so that means that it because they just uh, go back inside the house. So it's just going to stay as a square root of 69 all over 10. We can't reduce anything right here. And so the good news is, once again, that just means we're done.